What's up guys? Welcome to another video. So today we're gonna to be talking about inventions. This is going to be a full-on invention video talking about the first batch of stuff that came out, how to start out, uh, everything you can make, all the component costs and all of that stuff. So for starters, what you're gonna need is a little bit of cash, not a whole lot, but I would say about 30, 40 mil just to get started. That's a that's a nice cash stack. I wouldn't recommend doing this right off the start. It's not like nothing you get will be too helpful. The, the potions are the, the first thing you can make, the brews are really nice, but as a newer player, I would wait, I would wait. I would just wait until you have a nice 40K cash stack and you're ready to start. <coughs> 40 mil cash stack, my bad. So come to invent, colon, colon, invent, or you can go to old Ax workshop in the uh, teleporter thingy. Um, come to the assistant and buy a old Ax device, a component bag, and you'll buy some more. You'll, I guess you can buy some of these, but you'll, you'll need them in a bit, really. The first thing you're going to focus on is disassembling things. Now, if you've played the game, like I said, you, you don't really want to start off with invention. It's something you'll do a little bit afterwards. So you have some things. So let's just say, you know, I copied somebody's bank. So let's just say we got some magic logs. You want some organic components because that's going to be the first component we need. And if you can see, I'm, I'm basically zero on all components. I do have a couple generic, but most, be, you know, I'm, I'm basically there. So just disassemble and you'll get some XP. It's so you're noticing I'm not getting XP. The experience is not guaranteed. It's based on the amount of components you get. Let me try to find a better example. I picked, I picked a terrible example. Um, what's, I mean, this, this stuff right here should work, right? Yeah, I think these boots definitely work. So, boots are a good example. So, if you, it's based on the amount of components you get. So, if you do something that has a lot more components, then you're going to be a lot better off. And then, if you're wondering, I am playing on the easiest mode on this account. So, you can see, we got a bunch of lucky components there. But, I need organic components. Organic components are kind of harder to components to get. Actually, I just, uh, think, does he have any gems? does ah these these should work now in the update i did a couple minutes ago so uh i'm gonna be right back it does take a little bit you can speed it up by like manually doing it but um lazy. so i've got a nice chunk of organic components we're gonna drop off our beers let's unnote him does he have beer he does because he's already been working on invention nice uh, and then we have come over here to old deck and he has schematics so the level or the number next to it is the level so this is obviously the first one and then pirates transmutes next so on and so forth there's currently eight schematics i'll go over every single one the component cost and what they do um, but we'll take a look right here so for, to make one we just click it boom we need uber components so uber components are kind of harder to get i i didn't <laughs> I don't know. It was just probably a bad idea to include that in the, the very first component, considering the kind of things you need to disassemble or like stuff like that. Obviously, there's there's better things, and I will um, I'll probably make a full video talking about like stuff you can disassemble, or I could always just release the file and somebody else could work on that. But um, easy things to get would be stuff like uh, berserker rings, stuff like that. Um, I did a crack and tentacle on my main account. I know that it's not available for everybody. Tome of Fire works for Uber components. Um, but we have a nice chunk now. And you only need 50 per brew, so it's not too bad. But I, that's not what I meant to do. Let's make five. Boom! So we got some invention XP, and we made five brews. Uh, if you don't know what this thing does, it is pretty nice. It gives you prayer points, heals you, and gives you some uh, offensive stats. As well as run energy. But, uh, yeah, boo. Uh, so then you can also make a hundred and that's noted. That's the best way to do it if you're trying to train experience So right here you can see the the costs right here. I'll just Let you browse at that these ones the ones where you can click them are a lot easier to explain I I probably should have just made all of them clickable It's just some of them didn't really need to be and uh, I'll uh, sort of explain them all now Let me get them all Okay, so my inventory is going to be a little confusing, but I should have a nice little graphic that I'm going to have somewhere in the corner. And then I'll also uh, have that in the Discord if you wanted to just take a better look at it. But uh, we'll start with the first one. As we saw earlier, you can take a look at these. It's pretty simple. It has it all laid out and explained for you. Uh, you need 100 noted to do... You always need noted if you're going to do the 100 option. Obviously, you couldn't have 100. Yeah. <laughs> I, I shouldn't have to explain that to people, but some people... Uh, anyway, so we'll move on. Uh, Pirates Transmute, you have uh, 100 caskets as the main requirement. 
And then you also need uh, 150 luck, 150,000 lucky components and 50,000 spiritual components. For the magic oysters, you need 100 noted magic oysters if you want to do the big option. And then for, for just one magic oyster, it's 30,000 lucky components and 5,000 crystal components. And then for the old ax noob, you need the sample bottle and 150,000 lucky components and 150,000 organic components. For the uh, mystery box upgrade, you need five mystery boxes, and then you need 10,000 rare components and 100,000 dark components. Is it, is it gonna say that? I, I have the dark components. Oh, fair enough. Uh, for Crooked Redwood Logs, you need 100, you know, noted redwood logs or one, however many you're gonna do. It has a nice interface, so this one's again simple. 3,000 corrupt, 50 uber, for each one. And then for barrels transmute, you need uh, barrels gloves, and then you need uh, 20,000 rare components and 100,000 corrupt components. And then the last item that we have is the imbued eye, which you need an insult elf head. You get this from guards at home. It's probably the main way to get it. And then you need 1 million spiritual components and 200,000 uber components. I have, do I have the uber components really? Hmm. So that's how you make every single item. And again, I should have that picture for you, which has everything a lot easier and simple to, to understand. Now, as far as what does everything do? So again, brew, what it does is it gives you prayer points. It's based on your, your level. So it's exactly how many I can't really say. It's kind of like a prayer pot. It, it, but at, at the maximum, I believe it's 33 or 32 or something like that. So it's pretty good. Um, it gives you prayer points. It restores your run energy and it gives you attack and strength bonuses as well. The Pirates Transmute turns 100. I guess I'll just get a bunch of components and show you. I guess that makes the most fucking sense. Okay, so I've got a bunch of components. So, again, Pirates Transmute. We create it. It turns 100 cash caskets into this large cash bag. And then when you open it, you get cash. The amount of cash you get is more than those 100 cash bags would have been. So, that, that's why you'd want to do it. And you, it's basically like the old, the old cash caskets. Uh, so for magic oysters, we'll create 100. Actually, I don't know if I have enough crystal components, but we'll just... It, uh, it creates a magic oyster, and what the magic oyster does is when you use it on a clue, it automatically completes it. It's the same thing from Revival 1, so you're probably familiar with it. Uh, it does require two to use it on leets, but I'm lo most likely just going to change that because it, then it makes the leets not worth using. And I don't know. Let me know how you feel about that, but I'll probably end up changing that. So creating old X lube, just, uh, generic ones, whatever. Uh, gives you old X lube. Uh, you use it on a fishing rod. Why, why can I not talk? I'm doing this like super early in the morning. And I just, I don't know. I shouldn't have. I can't talk. I can't speak. Anyways, old X lube. Use it on a fishing rod to get an oily fishing rod. And that lets you do the Tazar fishing. Uh, and also, I, I plan to have more uses for it in the future. But that's the only current one. The mystery box upgrade. Pretty self-explanatory. Upgrades are five mystery boxes into a elite mystery box. You have Crooked Redwood Logs, which gives you uh, Crooked Redwood Logs. <laughs> and these also let you make the, sh the short bow, which is basically the same as the Redwood short bow from Rojava 1. It's tier 70-ish, so it's nice. And it's good flat uh, good fletching XP, and I believe you can burn it, but I don't recall if I made the fire making experience best in slot. So I'll have to do that. Uh, barrels transmute lets you turn barrels gloves into a barrels crate. Boom. And boom. DH body. Nice. Fun times. And then the last one, imbued eye, lets you turn and sold elf's head into a imbued eye, which again is similar to Revival 1, so, you know. Boom. We charge it. It's like the imbued heart, but it's for range. It boosts your range stat, so it's really nice. Infinite range both. Bonus. Bonus. Can't talk. Can't talk. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I apologize that I couldn't talk for most of this video, and but hopefully you got the information that you needed to get. Uh, I will have that picture. That's probably going to be more information than this will be, but uh, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.